Hey gang, today by Geert's request, we're going to do Don't Deceive Me, a lush blues song from 19, I think 1953. Chuck Willis wrote it. There's a few famous versions. Little Richard did one. Screaming Jay Hawkins did one. This is the Carol Fran version. Geert requested that one, and it's got a great guitar solo to it. And plus, the chords are a little bit different. Um, anyway, it's a chord so it's a chord progression that's similar to Stormy Monday. Or maybe John Mayer's um, I'm Gonna Find Another You. So uh, both really lush blues tunes, great, great blues songs. So we're going to cover the chords as well as the solo that I just played. Hey, as usual, if you like this one, please give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for one or a couple of these every single week. We'll see you in just a second. All right, gang. Well, um, there's a lot to cover in this lesson, so you should probably download the tab, which has the solo in it, the chords written above the solo, um, the, the chords for the bridge, and the tag ending slash beginning slash turnaround. Uh, does a lot of perp there's, it serves a lot of purposes. Okay, so let's go over the, uh, the chords first. Now, it does do this sort of tag ending. It does it on piano, but it kind of sounds like this. <laughs> it's going to go into the uh, we'll cover that a little bit later but then it's going to go into the chords um, and so let's just do the chords to the verse um, and I'll slow down where I need to but it starts it's a blues and F which is a bit unusual not a guitar friendly key generally speaking but it's okay and uh, so we're gonna come we're gonna start out with F F7 Then B flat. B flat minor. Beautiful chord. Back to F. D7. Definitely a different chord. B, uh, I'm sorry, G7. Also a different chord. C7. Okay, and now this little turnaround here, okay? So it's different this time right here, and I'll, I'll go through it slowly. F, A7, D minor 7, D minor 7 with the A and a bass, G minor 7, and C augmented. Then it'll do it again. F. F7. B flat. B flat minor. F. G7. G7. C7. Now here's the tag ending. Okay. And um, in this case, in the, <coughs> in the solo that we did, it goes directly to the bridge, and I'll show you how to get there. But that's normally you'd end that with a C augmented chord. Let's just go over that tag ending, okay, shall we? So it's played on a piano, but we're going to do it on a guitar, and there's a bunch of different ways you can play that. I'll show you the simplest way, I think, and that's by having a descending bass line with a fixed uh, melody note on top. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing the on the fifth string, and we're going to go... Okay, and... At the same time, we're going to fix our note on the second string. That's on the fifth string. We're going to descend from that F on the eighth fret. And then on the second string, we're going to stay on that sixth fret on the second string. Okay, so like so. And we're going to hit it twice every time. So. And you're going to let that ring out. 
Okay, so that goes to the from the F to the E flat to the D D flat. This time I'm pulling both of them, and that's that C. And now the C augmented chord. If you don't know that one, it is, let me see if I can show it to you. Fifth string is the root on the third fret. Fourth string second. Third string first. That's different. And then the second string first. That's a C augmented. There's a bunch of different ways to play that. But and anyway, that's the one that you can play down there. All right, and you can make that more lush if you want. Right? So that's kind of kind of cool. But it takes a while to work those things out. I would say stay simple with this one and then figure out what other notes you uh, you want in that. Much easier for a piano player to do that sort of counterpoint. Okay, so uh, that's the those are the chords, and now let's uh, let me go through the solo. I'm going to play the whole thing first, so and then we'll go through it line by line. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's the solo, and we're going to go through it line by line. I just want to say at the end, it sounds a bit wrong, but that's because the solo doesn't end on this. The solo actually ends by transitioning into the bridge, which is kind of like this. Okay, so the, it normally does this. And goes to that C augmented, but here it'll go just to an F7. And then to a B flat, which is part of the bridge. B flat minor, which is the bridge, again. F, B flat, F. seven and then B flat B flat minor and C G I'm sorry C C augmented and then we're back to the the rest of the, the chords of the chorus or of the verse I mean Okay, so let's break this down line by line. We've got, um, this is mostly, believe it or not, played out of the F major pentatonic with just a couple of exceptions. One of the major exceptions is simply a lick. 
I, I think it's best thinking about all of this as being in an F major pentatonic with a few incidental notes that you're going to play very deliberately over a chord. So let's go over that um, because the chords are moving all over the place and it's amazing how you don't have to move that much out of the F um, major pentatonic. Okay, so um, so let's start out with this. So you can visualize this F chord right here, which is the C position, F chord, right? Root right here on the second string, sixth fret, and on the fifth string, eighth fret, okay? So we're gonna slide up. Um, we're gonna start, um, there's, a, there's a pickup note that goes like this. So that's just, um, you know, five, a, a fourth string five, slide up to seven. All right. So the first part is over the F is simply. All right, so that's just a slide from five to seven, four times, and then you slide back. Okay, now we're going to anticipate this flatted seventh and play this. Give a little vibrato. Now what I like about that line, notice I'm sliding up and giving it just a little vibrato. I'm ending on the second string fourth, which is an E flat, which is the flatted seventh in a F seventh dominant chord. F dominant seven. You hear that? So nice little chord tone. Okay, so here we go, anticipating the B now. Okay, one more time. And you'll notice it's over a B chord. You can see this little B triad, right? Okay, now over that, leading to that B minor. Okay, a rather unusual choice of double stops. I believe that this guy had a lick, and he played this lick over and over. You can hear it throughout the song. If you listen to the song, it's all over the song. He plays it all the time over that B minor chord, and it's just what he's doing. He starts out on an F uh on a little F dyad right here, if you can envision. Right, that little F triad. And we're only going to play on the second and first strings. We're going to play on the first one. We have nine on the second and, uh, and I'm sorry, 10 on the second and eight on the first. And then just go down chromatically. And then ending on the fourth and the sixth. Fourth on the first, sixth on the second. Now, how do we understand that? Well, why does it work? Well, it works because it ends in the right place. That really works well over that B minor chord. Why? Well, because this is a chord tone, and this is the flatted seventh in, that you would get in a minor seventh chord. And a minor seventh works well over this as well. So. So all I think is that we're starting on an F and we're going down to this B mi B flat minor. And so it's going to be decent. It's going to sound decent. And it, it does. It sounds, it sounds good. So there's lots of other things you could play. Like you could play. A lot of people would choose to play that, which is the, the minor third. And that's what's different about the major and the minor chord. And so you can emphasize that. But he didn't do that. He played, which is a cool lick. Okay, but I just think of it as a lick. I don't think of it as any sort of special double stop sequence or anything like that. It's just a lick that he plays over this, ending on the right notes. You know, folks, if you end on the right notes, no matter where you start and how you get there, if you end on the right place, it's, it's usually going to sound pretty good. All right, and this one does. All right, next lick. Uh, where are we? So, uh, okay, yeah, right. Back to the F major pentatonic. All 
Okay, so this is over the F chord, going to that D seventh. So over the F, the major pentatonic works great. And then we're going to that D7 right here. Very little minimal thing. He just adds a little bit of dissonance, hammering on to that 11th and then coming back to that to that D on the 10th. On, this is all on the first string, right? Okay, so that's that. The next one is this right here. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. That's over the G7 to the C7, or G7 to the C7 chord. And we're playing. Now we can think about this one as a little F minor dyad, and we're bending the minor note up to the major, almost. Okay, so we're playing first string, 8th fret, 2nd string, ninth fret, and we're bending that ninth to the 10th, and you can see if we played... Oops. That's an F major triad, and this... That's an F minor triad, so F major, F minor, and we're just bending between them. Okay, and then... Okay, so this part right here. So this is just outlining an F7 chord. And now he plays something that I would never play. I wouldn't think of it. He plays a chromatic note right here. All right, which is 4th string, ninth fret. I would have played 4th string, 8th fret. That's what I would have played. And that sounds good too, but it's just a little bit different. Now on this thing right here, so fourth string sixth, slide it up to seventh, and then play that F on the third string at the tenth. Okay, now we're going to play over, uh, over the chords. Okay, so there's a lot of movement there. So it's F to A7 to D minor 7, D minor 7 with the bass, with the A bass, and G minor 7. And the way we're going to play over that is by playing the same phrase over and over. It's amazing that it works. This is just a phrase out of the F major pentatonic. All right, so that's all we're going to do is we're going to play on the third string, six, slide to seven, and play the tenth. That's it. Now you can play it on the on the second and 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 I'm sorry, on the third and second if you want. That's fine. I like playing it on the third. Sounds good to me. All right, and then the next line is over that augmented chord. It's a cool line right here. So this is really, again, it's sort of playing an F7, but we're ending on this, on this augmented note of the C augmented chord. You can hear that, right? It's the same, that G sharp. So we're playing on the third string, we're playing 8, 7, and then on the second, we'll play 10, 8, 7, ending on the sixth. And you can play it in a different position too if you want. That works fine. Oops. That's how I chose to play it. Okay, and that's it. Now we're going on the second time around. So uh, we're going to slide up here into the 10th position. 
Now, uh, you can play it down here in the sixth position if you want, or fifth position, but I'm playing it up on the tenth position because I like this F major blues box. <laughs> I've always liked that one. I've always liked that position, so this is kind of like home position for me. So I'm sliding up to here. Okay, so obviously very bluesy this. So uh, we're gonna start, start sliding on the fourth string 10 to 12. 10 on the second on the third and then hammer off 12 to 10 or ha pick and pull off to 10 and then we're going to play 12 slide up to 14 and play 13 14 a couple times and now we're going to play this double stop we're playing triplets right so what is that That's really just a mini F chord, isn't it? It's just a dyad taken out of a F chord or a double stop taken out of an F chord. Here's the root of the F chord on the first string 13th, right? And then we're all familiar with that. We can play it down here at the nut. It's fine. We just bring that up 12 frets. And then instead of playing the whole thing, we're just going to play on the second and third strings. Now a little bluesy line. All right, I'm just playing the blues. All right, here's the next line. Now we're going to that, uh, we're gonna anticipate that B7 um, and then that, or that B flat and then B flat minor. So here's the B flat. That's the B flat. So again, this is straightforward. And in here we're playing this. That's kind of cool. So this is, uh, on the second string we're playing the 11th, which is a B flat. On the third string we're playing the G, which uh, is part of that B flat seventh chord, but we're bending that G up a little bit. Okay, and that's again. I should say I'm playing this. Let's just play that slowly. Play all kinds of stuff like that. Now over the B minor. If that sounds familiar to you, it should. We're just playing the same lick in a different position that we did before. You'll notice it's the same thing. So we're starting out here on our F uh, on our F double stop right here, which is second string 13, third string 14, and just going down chromatically. Ending up on the ninth and tenth. Again, that's over that B flat minor. Okay, so let's see. Uh, then next, we're going back to that F to that D. And this is going to be cool too. Really simple. Again, we're playing simply out of an F mi a major pentatonic. And now the D. So it's just that little dissonant note. So we're, that is right here, right here is. Here we're playing uh, on the third string hammer 13 to 14. And then on the second string 13 and 15. And then 16, slide to 15, 16. And then 16, 15. 
Now we're back to our little uh, over the G and the C. We're playing. And then. Okay, exactly as we played it before. And then trilling here on six and seven on the fourth string. And now we're into the, um, at this point, we're into the. Okay, and so that is uh, a little bit different. It goes like this. Okay, so over the beginning part, for that part, we're playing. And then um, over that C. That's all we're playing. And then we're going into that B over the uh, bridge. All right. So that is it. Uh, that's the whole solo. Um, lots of parts to it. Uh, it's really a, you know, a two chorus solo, so there's a lot to it. Makes sense to look at the note choices. Uh, it's amazing to me that it's all a uh, major pentatonic with just some minor adjustments, one for the D7 and one that's a very deliberate lick played over that B flat minor. Everything else is really right out of F major pentatonic with just a bluesy line or two. That's it. That's it. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool how he makes the whole thing work. All right. Well, gang, there you have it. Don't deceive me. Uh, great little blues tune with some sophisticated uh, chords and uh, progression to it. Some nice playing. <sighs> hope you enjoyed this one. I really love this kind of uh, blues, and I hope you do too. We'll see you on down the road.